What's up, flamethrowers? It is me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and guess what, guys? It is done. Whew! Finally, I am now the proud owner of many, many different. I am many, many wives. <laughs> That's right, and of course, I am here with the two girls who made this ceremony possible. I am here with Blaze the Cat and Verasica Mayday. In fact, it's actually the first time you two ever met each other. Yes, it actually is. It's nice to meet you, Verasica. Yes, it's really nice to meet you too, Blaze. <laughs> yeah, anyway, guys, the wedding is officially done and over with. And I'm going to give you guys the play by the way. Play by play. See, look, guys. This is how the wedding went. See, look. All the ladies, they were all in the pews, all in their dresses and gowns and stuff. Things is just looking beautiful. Everything was looking beautiful. I was standing at the uh, altar with my with Sonic on one side, and of course, uh, Verasica. Who was your maid of honor again? Oh well, it took me a long while to finally figure it out. But I actually decided to go with Kiki. Okay, so Kiki was your maid of honor. And Maureen, she was over there with the other bridesmaids. She was over there with all the other bridesmaids. So, um, yeah, as soon as the wedding started, they both started walking down the aisle towards me. <laughs> it was definitely really interesting. It was really interesting. And anyway, they stopped to us and... I mean, they stopped to me and... They both hopped up, I uncovered both their veils, and <laughs> one thing led to another, and finally, we were husband and wife, husband and wives. <laughs> yeah, husband and wives. Anyway, ladies, why don't you show the flamethrowers the ring that, the rings that I gave you. Alright. Okay, and since they're both the, and since they're both the same ring, here you go. Take a look at that, guys. <laughs> That is the wedding ring that I gave to every single girl in my harem. They have a silver ring. And I know what you guys are thinking. Wait a minute. What about Sarah? Well, her ring is gold. Her ring is gold. So basically, I have two wedding rings now, guys. I have two wedding rings. One on each finger. One on each ring finger. <laughs> but anyway, yep, this is actually that was actually the wedding ring. So, ladies, how do you guys feel about being... Uh, Miss, Mrs. Dragonhog, how do you guys feel? Well, I definitely know that you'll take really good care of me and Solar. Yeah, Blaze, don't worry. <laughs> I promise you I'm going to do a better job than Silver. Yeah. Anyway, what about you, Verasica? Well, I'm really looking forward to playing music with you. <laughs> yeah, I know. And besides, think about it. The world's, the, the hell's greatest pop star is going to be now is going to be now the best pop star in the multiverse. Mm-hmm. Well, at least now my cred will definitely go skyrocketing. Yeah, and hey, look at the bright side. You're a succubus who <laughs> is actually depending on one person now. Yeah, I just now noticed that. Yeah, but hey, it's okay. If you ever need anything, you can just call on me, all right? Right. Hmm, I wonder how all the other brides are taking it. Well, you, maybe you can go ask them. They're all over there. Okay. Instant transmission. <laughs> Whew. Okay, made it. Ah, the Doki Dokis. Hey, Monica, Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri. It's good to see you guys. Hey, Flame. It's good to see you. <laughs> hey, Monica. Hey. <laughs> Not gonna lie, you four look great in your dresses. Thanks, Flame. <laughs> no problem, Yuri. I can't believe it! We're actually married! Okay, 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 Sayori, you can stop being so clingy. Uh, Natsuki, what's up with you? You haven't said anything all day. Natsuki? Okay, Natsuki, calm down. Calm down? I'm ecstatic! Whoa, 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 that's the first time I've ever heard you say that. Nice job, Natsuki. <laughs> but anyway, I have a question to ask you guys. How do you guys feel about finally being married to me? Well, to tell you the truth, we are all very, very excited. <laughs> yeah. Yuri, what about you? Well, to tell you the truth, I was a little bit worried that you wouldn't exactly see me, Natsuki, and Sayori because 
if I remember correctly, Monica, she was going to be the one that's was going to be part of the harem. Yeah, well, it's a good thing I actually called you guys. And hey, if you think about it, Monica, she's a really good girl and all, but nobody can beat the all four of you. That's why I decided to add the rest. Because, hey, it wouldn't be fair if Monica was just there, so I just decided to add all of the four of you. So I just decided to add all four of you. Because, hey, all four of you are a great team together. You guys are really great with literature, and not to mention, you guys are absolutely amazing. I mean, four beautiful women. <laughs> Aw, stop. You're making me blush. Sayori, come on. Anyway, Natsuki, you really, knew, you really do need to, uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> Natsuki is hugging me. Guys, uh, believe it or not, this is so unlike Natsuki. She's usually the mean one who's normally nice, but she can be nice at times and she's a little bit mean, but hey, I guess she's a whole lot more nicer now. Yeah, all because of you, Flamey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy there. Easy with the nicknames. By the way, this goes out to all of the uh, other wives. You can call me different pet names, but Flamey is off limits. It's only for Sarah, okay? Anyway, let's see who else is happy to be Mrs. Dragonhog. Hey, girlfriend. Glad that you're here. Hey, Flame. It's good to see you. Hey. <laughs> so, how do you feel about being Mrs. Dragonhog? I'm happy. I really am. I mean, now that you defeated Boyfriend, I think... I'm in good hands now. Yeah, and if you, and trust me, in any of the Friday Night Funkin' mods where, um, you're in danger, you know I'm definitely gonna save you. I'll put you in my arms, just like how Boyfriend did when he rap battled against, um, Tank Man. Aw, well that's sweet. Yeah, and plus not to mention, your dad, he really does trust me a whole lot more than Boyfriend, than, than Boyfriend. Yeah, and plus, not to mention, you do have a little bit of demonic heritage, so, yeah. Oh yeah, guys, thanks to uh, some more research, believe it or not, the dragons that the dragons that, that I'm actually mixed in with, they have demon powers, which is just crazy. Huh, no, wonder my, no wonder my dad wanted to commit so many sins. He was a demon, Ugh. and I'm the son of a demon. Well, look at me, I'm the daughter of a demon. Okay, 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 I guess so. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, girlfriend, glad to have you here. You know, I really did want you to represent the human side of the harem, but it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, at least I'm still your wife. Yeah, and I do love you a whole lot, girlfriend. I love you too, Flame. <laughs> Aw. Okay, anyway, let's see who else. Ah, Rouge. Whoa, and I'm not gonna lie, Rouge, you really do look good in gold. Why, thank you. <laughs> anyway, Rouge, how do you feel about being Mrs. Dragonhog, finally? Well, it was, well, it's a dream come true. <sighs> I really am happy that I finally got to be with a man who's able to take care of me and supply me with all the riches that I want. I mean, not, I mean, aren't you at least happy to be with me? Of course. Why wouldn't I be happy to be with you? I mean, you were sort of kind of hard on Sarah, saying how you're a better person than her. Well, thanks to you, I learned that all, f that all Sonic girls, no matter how big their situations are, or how big their, you know, other situations are, or how well their, or how their personality is, we're all beautiful in our own way, so... I guess I don't mind sharing the spotlight of Mobius's beautiful woman. <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh, and how did... Oh, yeah, and how is Sarah taking this? Oh, she's taking it fine. She's taking it just fine. I mean, we both agreed that, you know, that the rules will apply. And, we also, and I also signed a contract saying that if I break any of the rules, then Sarah's gonna leave me, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if she is or not, because we're just going to have to work something out if I do break any of those rules. And I really do hope that Sarah doesn't leave me. I hope not either. You two really do make a really great couple. Yeah. 
Anyway, uh, let's see who else is happy. But don't I get a goodbye kiss before you check? Oh, come on, Rouge. I just gave you a kiss earlier. Come on, give me another one. Another one can't hurt. Uh, okay, fine. Just one more. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, hubby. Oh my gosh. Remember, take it easy with the... Remember, take it easy with the flirting, Rouge. Don't worry. I respect Sarah's wishes, and I'm only going to be flirting with you, but not too much. All right, good. No sexual activity flirting. Got it? Got it. Okay, moving on. Okay, made it. Uh, oh, Amy Dragonhog. I didn't know you were in a wedding dress. Well, this is a well, this is a wedding, right? Yeah, it is. By the way, a Amy, how did you feel about being Mrs. Dragonhog? Well, again. Well, I've been Mrs. Dragonhog for so long. But anyway, I'm really happy that I actually found a flame that won't die on me this time. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so what about your daughter? Well, she's gonna have to find out eventually. Well, don't worry. You will find out about her eventually. And she is on her way here soon. Okay. But anyway, real quick. Um... But anyway, real quick. I really am glad that you decided to leave, um, your other selves back in your world. Uh, guys, for those of you guys who don't remember, uh, Amy Dragonhog is basically a fusion of Rouge and Blaze and uh, Amy, but Bla but her version of Blaze and Rouge, they're back in her world. So now she's just 100% Amy. <laughs> yep, and and I also heard that you wanted me to meet your version of Amy. Yeah, yeah, the Amy that's married to my brother, Sonic. Well, that would be nice to meet her. Yeah, I think we might play a game of Would You Rather with them, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, let's see who else is happy. Okay. Oh, Whisper. So you're the so you were the closest energy signature that I found. Okay. But why but what are you doing hiding out here? I'm shy. Aw, Whisper. I thought we talked about this. It's okay to be shy. But anyway, Whisper, how do you feel about being Mrs. Dragonhog? I'm actually really happy. I I don't know how to express my gratitude, but I am really, really happy. <laughs> well, I'm glad to know that you are really, really happy. I really am glad to know that you are happy. But anyway, so, um, why don't you go, why don't you go spend time with all the other brides? Well, alright, I guess so. Oh, and, uh, someone here really wants to say hi to you. Oh, really? Who? Oh, Burst! Oh, ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Burst Chat. Oh god, it's the Burst Wisp. You know, the Fire Wisp. Aw, I'm glad that she's here. Yeah, now her and Flame Chow can be good friends in the Chow Garden. Yeah, anyway, Burst Wisp, I am really am glad to see you. <laughs> wow, I'm not gonna lie, she actually got a lot more fluffy last time I saw her. Well, yeah, she takes really good care of her. She really takes really good care of herself. That's cute. Anyway, go on back to your mom. Mom? <laughs> I'm kidding, Whisper. I mean, in a way, the way you take care of these Wisps, you might as well be them. You might as well be their mom. Oh, Flame. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's see who else is happy. <laughs> Whew, made it. Hey, to call. Um, I see that you're by the seaside. Um, what are you doing out here? Well, I just decided to, you know, stand clear of the crowds and just watch the ocean. Wow, you really do love being near the ocean, don't you? I do. Anyway, how do you feel about being Mrs. Dragonhog? I'm actually really happy. I know that you'll take really good care of me. And with the Master Emerald as well. Yeah, and since Knuckles, he's going to be retiring from being the Guardian of the Master Emerald, I guess that would make me the new Guardian, right? Exactly, but we will have to talk to Chaos about that. Okay, and because obviously, because uh, obviously Chaos, he is the, he's basically the seer of the Chaos of the Master Emerald, and 
he's the and he's the person that chooses the new guardian of the Master Emerald, right? Mm-hmm. Believe it or not, Chaos almost fired Knuckles one time. He did? Yes, because he almost... Because all those many years of him not looking after the Master Emerald and having Rouge steal it. So it's basically really, really hard for him to, you know, do his job. But luckily, we gave him a second chance. And, well, he actually did it. Well, good for Knuckles. But, you know, he... But now that he has a wife and everything, he will be spending time and have... Well, he'll be spending less and less time guarding the Master Emerald and more time spending time with Julie Sue, right? Yes, I am well aware of that. Which is why I'm giving you the job. But, like I said, we'll have to wait until Chaos comes here. Well, I'm sure Chaos will make the right decision as well. As many times I use the Master Emerald for power as well. <laughs> but anyway, glad to know that you're happy to call. Yeah, I really am happy. <laughs> Anyway, let's see who else is happy. Hey, Nicole, it's good to see you. Greetings, Flame. Hey, t hey, Nicole. So, how do you feel about being Mrs. Dragonhog? I'm just fine. I absolutely enjoy it. In fact, I'm actually going to be changing my name to Nicole Dragonhog. <laughs> That's really cute. But anyway, but anyway... I also want to know something. Can you keep track of everybody in the harem? Of course. I'm logging it into my database right now. Aw, well that's good to know that you'll keep track of everybody. And can you also make sure that everybody is happy and healthy? Because honestly, because honestly, there are some, because honestly, if something does happen to them, it's my job to keep an eye on them, right? Absolutely. And you... We'll do a marvelous job taking good care of us, right? Absolutely. I'm a god. I can pretty much do anything. From taking care of a huge society, from, you know, taking care of all of you. And, not to mention, righting wrongs and stuff. Well, I'm glad that you're up for the job. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you're part of this, my new husband. Yeah. Anyway, let's see who else is here. By the way, I think I might know who I'm going to travel to. Okay, let me guess. Where's Sally? Oh, she's right over there. Okay. Anyway, heading on over to her. Whew, made it. Hey, Sally. It's good to see you. Hello, Flame. Hey, Sally. Glad that you're actually here. You know, it's, you know, uh, Nicole might have told you what the heck the question was. Yes, she told me what it was. What am I happy to be Mrs. Dragonhog? And the question and the answer is yes, I actually am happy. Hopefully you'll take a whole lot more better care than me than Monkey Con. I know that you won't cheat on me, right? Um, no, I won't. You know I won't. Cause you know I won't be messing around with any other girl outside of the harem. Exactly. Good boy. <laughs> no, you're not gonna wait, hold up. Sally, real quick. You're not going to be controlling like how you did with my brother Sonic, are you? Absolutely not. I know that I can be a little bit controlling sometimes, but don't worry, I'm not going to be doing that to you just because you're Sonic's brother. Oh boy, thank God. Because sometimes, I sometimes worry that whenever I was around you, I was worried that, you know, you were going to treat me like how you treated Sonic. Don't worry, you're safe. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, it's no wonder lots of people saying that Sun Amy is a whole lot better than Sun Ally because you can be a little bit controlling sometimes. Yeah, I know. I'm bettering myself. Okay, that's good. Anyway, I'll see you around, Sally. I'm gonna see if ever I'm gonna see if everybody else is happy. Right. All right. Let's see. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Whoa, Urza. I'm not gonna lie. I have not seen you. In a dress this good looking. You liar. Yes, you have. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm lying. Because I have seen you the first time you came onto the channel, you were wearing a uh, princess dress. But it looks like you're going to be wearing a princess dress any some more times, right? I guess. Anyway, are you happy to be Mrs. Dragonhog? 
Well, to be honest, I never actually thought I'll be holding that title because, you know, you and I are really good friends. Yeah. But now that we're husband and wife, we're more than friends. And besides, I had a feeling that you did care about me more than just a friend back then. Yeah. <laughs> because you and I, we both have so much in common. We're both strong warriors and stuff. Oh, and by the way, would you mind doing me a favor? Okay, what's up? Would you mind turning around and showing me that crystal? Uh, you mean that crystal that allows me to summon weapon? Okay, uh, uh, Urza, what are you doing? What are you doing to my crystal? Just hold still. Um, okay, uh, this feels a little bit tingly. Uh, and done. Uh, uh, what did you just do? I added some of my ability to yours, which means you'll be able to switch forms and have many different armors as well, like me. Wow, that's actually really nice of you. But, um, I hope I don't get any new weapons or anything. You don't, just armors. Because I've seen your wide variety of ruby weapons. They're very, very impressive. The fact that they can turn into guns and handheld, and handheld weapons as well. Yeah. You know, if you want, I can get you one. You can? Yeah. All I gotta do is just go to the Ruby Universe and pick one out of the Villain's Graveyard. Villain's Graveyard? Yeah. That's basically a place where... Well, it's not actually a graveyard. That's where people call it. <laughs> it's basically where we keep the weapons of fallen Ruby villains. And let me just tell you, that's a wide variety of weapons right there. Well, I'll be more than happy to get one. <laughs> And after when I defeat Mimic, I'll be more than happy to give you my Grim weapons. And I'll be able to get Grim armor? Sure, why not? It's really good. <laughs> but, oh, and also one other thing. I have a little gift for you. You might have to summon it later. But anyway, glad to have you in my harem. Yes, it's good to be here. <laughs> anyway, let's see who else is here. <laughs> Made it. Hey, Kale, Khalifla, I see that you guys finally made it. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Flame? Of course we will make it to our own wedding. Hello? Yeah, you silly boy. <laughs> okay, so how do you ladies feel about being Mrs. Dragonhog? It feels great. I'm really hoping that we get to train more. Yeah, I'm really, yeah, I'm really looking forward to going further beyond. Maybe reaching Ultra Ego. Oh boy, Ultra Ego? I honestly don't know if you can, because Vegeta, he was actually really lucky to get that form. Well, if Vegeta can be lucky, so can we. I mean, hello, think about it. We already are married to the most handsomest person in the multiverse. So in a way, we already are lucky. Okay, okay, calm down, ladies. Don't worry, after the honeymoon, we can probably do some training, okay? Don't quote me on it. We could do some training after the honeymoon. All right, but where are we going for the honeymoon? I'll explain that to everybody in just a little bit. But anyway, glad to know that you guys are okay. <laughs> oh, and uh, also, by the way, uh, how is Kaba taking this? Oh, he's, uh, I don't really know. Oh, I spoke to Kaba. He's actually really happy for the, he's actually really happy for us. A little bit disappointed that you actually got with his, uh, Girlfriend-ish, otherwise known as Vados. Oh yeah, I forgot. Kaba did have a boner for Vados. But don't you think it's pretty weird how a student and a master... But isn't it forbidden for a student and a master to get together? Not for Vados. She pretty much can do whatever she wants. Yeah, and same thing with Kaba. But anyway, but anyway, I told Kaba that that wasn't actually her. It was just a clone. <laughs> but anyway, the real Vados is back in the... But, the real, but the real Vados is back in the Dragon Ball universe, so Kaba, he'll be able to see her. I hope so. Yeah, but anyway, glad that you guys are actually enjoying yourselves. Hey, save me some of that wine. Oh, Flame, come on. <laughs> come on. You... And besides, think about it like this: when you two fuse, I'm sort of getting three. I'm sort of getting two girls for the price of one, right? In a way, yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's see who else is happy. Okay, made it. Bowsette! I'm glad that you actually made it. Indeed. Hello, Flame. Hey, Bowsette. Uh, hey, Flamethrowers. 
Uh, I bet you guys didn't know that I did add Bowsette into the harem. Oh, uh, wait. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys probably did know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I actually did add Bowsette. She's actually a really good person. Anyway, Bowsette, uh, how do you feel about being Mrs. Dragonhog? I'm actually really happy. I really do hope you take really good care of my children. Uh, you do realize that that's a job for the other Bowsette? You're just a clone, remember? Oh yes, I keep forgetting I am a clone. <laughs> but don't worry, it's okay, it's okay. Clones can get confused sometimes. But anyway, I am glad that you're actually here. Right. Also, also, I really am appreciative that you actually cloned Peach, Rosalina, and Daisy, and Pauline as well. Yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> Yeah, I did. So that way, they can be part of the harem, too. Exactly. But anyway, anyway, to each his own, I guess. Yeah. Let's just hope that Peach doesn't actually do, you know, think that she's a better, you know, blonde than me. I hope not either. But anyway, glad to know that the queen of the Koopa Kingdom is actually part of this harem. <laughs> Yes. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye. Anyway, let's see who else is here. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Boozette, you're here. Oh my gosh. It's okay. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Anyway, guys, I bet you guys didn't know that I did add Boozette into the harem. I mean, come on. Look at her. She's all nice and sweet. And plus, she lived in my medallion for so long. I decided to let her out, and she's actually going to be, and she is actually part of the harem now, so, yeah. Boozette, how do you feel about being part of the harem? I actually am feeling nice. I really do feel great. I love it. Reason why is because now I get to be closer to you than ever. But not too close, okay? Not too close. Especially out here during the daytime. I know how much you don't like being out in the daytime. But, which is why I'm giving you a very, very special, um, present. Oh, really? What would that be? Take my hand. There you go. Now, you'll have the ability... There. Now you'll have the ability to go out in public in the daytime. Really? Yeah. That's the nicest thing that anybody can give to me. It's like I'm human again. Were you ever human? Well, no, but I did always wanted to say that. <laughs> That's cute. Anyway, uh, yeah, welcome. T anyway, uh, I'm going to go around and see who else is actually happy to be Mrs. Dragonhog. All right, I'll see you soon. Or better yet, how about I just go back inside your medallion? Um, you can if you want to. All right, hold still. Uh, okay. Whoo! Ah. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna flat out say it. That actually uh, felt really, really weird how she always does that. Goes, just goes inside my medallion. That always gets me every time. Whew. Anyway. Oh, sweet Mobius. That actually hurt. That actually hurt a little bit, but I think I'll be fine. Whew. Okay. Anyway, let's see who... Let's see who else is happy. Okay, made it. Oh, Android 18. Hey, 18. I um, actually am glad that you're here. Real? Yes, really? Yeah, of course. I mean, anyway, so what are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just hanging out here for a little while. Just taking it all in that I can't believe I remarried. Well, did you actually have doubts about this? Of course not. I wanted to marry you. Aw, well that's sweet. Anyway, how do you feel about being Mrs. Dragonhog? Well, it feels nice, I guess. It feels nice. I would really hope that you're a better opponent and husband better than Krillin. I'm sure Krillin didn't mean what he did. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong. Krillin, he sometimes, I don't know. Well, you're a whole lot more taller than Krillin, I'll give you that. <laughs> yeah, Krillin, he pretty much is like three... 
excuse me, about my size, about five inch, about five uh, feet tall. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but there were some things about him that was more than five feet tall. Whoa, 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 what the world? Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> anyway, 18, I really am glad that you actually are part of this harem, so that way I can treat you to a much better life than, he, than you know, he could have ever given you. Yeah, of course. And as for our daughter, he's definitely going to have his hands full taking good care of her. I guess so. Well... Krillin, if you ever do need any, need any help taking care of Marin, you can always call on me, okay? You can always call on me. I am really good at taking care of kids. But wait, what am I talking about? She's prob she's probably all grown up by now. But anyway, 18, you can just mingle with everybody. I guess. All right. Anyway, let's see who else is hat. Oh, I don't even have to instant transmission. She's over here. Hang on. Android 21, you're here. Well, of course I'm here, Flame. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Android 21, how do you feel about being Mrs. Dragonhog? It feels so exciting. I mean, both you and I, we both have a lot in common. We both love sweets. We both love eating. We both love, basically, treats in general. Obviously. But one thing we do love doing is fighting and getting stronger and adding energy to our own strength, right? Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. So, what are we doing for after for after the wedding? Well, we're going to be going to our well, we're, well, we're going to be going on our honeymoon soon. And remember, remember what it is. I know, I know. It's just going to be a vacation for all of us. And for you and Sarah, it's going to be like a special honeymoon. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, I am willing to take really good care of you and give you all the sweets that you want, okay? Alright. I really I really have no problem with you giving me all those sweets. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <sighs> it is really nice to have you here, Android 21. It's really nice to be here, Flame. Anyway. Let's see who else is happy. <laughs> Woo! Whoa, hello. Okay, I just teleported right into the great. Okay, I just teleported right into the group. The Shinobi Sisters, Hinata, Eno, Sakura, and Ten Ten. It's good to see you, ladies. I'm glad you guys are actually here. And wow, okay, I never expected for you four to uh, dress up the same, like wearing the same colors. Well, what did you expect? We're the Shinobi Sisters. Yeah. By the way, real quick. Did you ever ask my wife if she wanted to be a shinobi sister? No, not yet. She was just too busy handling the baby and everything. Yeah, which by the way, which by the way, <laughs> that dress that she was wearing really covered up her baby bump very well. Yeah, you know, I know. But anyway, on to the question. How do you ladies feel about being Mrs. Dragonhog? Um, it's definitely amazing. Yeah, it really is amazing. I really do hope I get to trade weapon secrets with you. Sure, Ten Ten. And I really hope you really don't mind me, um, you know, being underrated. Sakura, come on, you're not underrated. Just misappreciative, because, you know, you hardly done anything in the Naruto series. And as for you, Eno, I really do hope that you and I can do some one-on-one -on -one time sparring. Of course. And same thing with you too, Hinata. And I'm sure Naruto... Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say that, because I know how much you start crying whenever you whenever you hear the word Naruto. Oh, and I said it again. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I actually gotten over him. Okay, good. Because I really did hope that, you know, you were going to start bawling your eyes out. But anyway, glad to have you guys, glad to have you ladies here. And also, the refreshments is right over there. Oh, and uh, keep an eye on Tsunade. She's eyeing the sake. Oh, no, not again. Last time she drank so much sake, she went crazy in the Hidden Leaf Village. Oh, man. That woman does not know how to hold her liquor. No, she does not. Well, you girls keep an eye on her. I'll go see whoever... I'll go see how everybody else is doing. Okay, made it. 
Whoa, Yang, I'm not gonna lie, I have not seen you in a dress much. Well, it's a start. <laughs> Do I really have to be wearing dresses all the time? No, not really. Don't worry. You won't be wearing dresses all the time. You can always be wearing your battle armor and stuff. Or battle gear, whatever, fighting clothes, I guess. But anyway, how do you feel about being Mrs. Dragonhog? Well, it's something, really, but it is really exhilarating, because to tell you the truth, I actually did like you a whole lot, Flame. Reason why was because you and I, we have so much in common. I mean, my name is sort of the Yellow Dragon. Yeah, and I actually am a dragon. And we both fight with our fists. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> Yep, and we both add pow and we both add um hit points to our own strength to make us stronger. Yep. By the way, how does Ruby, Weiss, and Blake feel about being Mrs. Dragonhog? They're actually really excited. They're actually really happy too. But Weiss's father and but Weiss's father, you might have to uh deal with him. Don't worry, I can deal with Mr. Snee. Uh, but wait a minute, I thought he was in jail for, you know, rigging the votes of him being the next mayor of, uh, Remnant. Well, yeah, but he actually got out on parole. Oh, oh man. I really do hope that Mr. Snee doesn't think I'm not good enough for his daughter. Oh boy. But anyway, good seeing you, Yang. Oh, and I also, and I also see that you set your arm to disguise mode. Yep, just like you, I disguised my arm to make it look like my old one. <laughs> yeah, but it's not really my old one. Yeah, but it's okay. It's okay. But anyway, I'm gonna go check out the last girl. Alright, let's see. <laughs> hey, Neo, it's good to see you. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can't talk. You're a mute. But anyway, glad that... Anyway, Neo, how do you feel about being Mrs. Dragonhog? Um, okay, so you're happy, right? You're happy? Yeah. You know, Neo, I am willing to take really good care of you because, you know, your old boss, Roman Torchwick, he was really mean to you sometimes and left you there. Yeah, yes. Whoa, you actually spoke. You spoke. Neo, you actually spoke. That's the first time I ever heard your voice, Neo. that much. That's why I decided to become a mute. Because whenever people hear my voice, they get scared. But with you, I feel comfortable enough to speak. Aw, well, that's good to know, Neo. This is actually a really great wedding present. The sound of your beautiful voice. You really think my voice is beautiful? Obvious, yeah. I mean, a beautiful voice for a very, very beautiful girl. Aw, thank you, Flame. Yeah, but you know, when you, but you know, when I do bring you onto the channel, you're gonna have to speak up a little bit more. Alright, I'll try my best. Good girl. Alright, well, anyway, listen up, ladies! Listen up, ladies! Everybody in the harem, everybody in the harem, listen, as, as you all know, our honeymoon is about to commence, all right? Now, you guys have all been wondering, where are we going? Well, it's, well, it's a bit of a surprise to us Mobians in the harem, but believe it or not, we are going back to Earth. We're going back to Earth. Flame, are you crazy? It's okay, Rouge, don't worry. But anyway, yes, we're going back to Earth. And yeah, we're going to Station Square, so that way we're going to see, that means we're going to see all our old friends from Sonic X. It's going to be crazy. I know Cream is really happy to see Ella, and I know, and I know that Rouge is happy to see, is gonna be happy to see Topaz. But there's one person I'm really not happy to see, Chris Thorndike. But we are going to be staying with him for a little while. But, well, I hope not, because honestly, I don't know. But anyway, but anyway, guys, 
here's where we're gonna be staying at. We're gonna be staying at this beautiful beach resort that I bought out. In fact, I bought out the whole hotel for all of us. I bought out the whole hotel for all of us. And also, one other thing, guys, it's two to a room. So you guys are gonna have to be having uh, roommates. You guys are gonna be having roommates. It's gonna be two to a room, all right? Two to a room, all right? But anyway, but anyway, hopefully you guys will enjoy yourselves over there. All right, hopefully you guys will enjoy yourselves over there. And, um, and, um, your suitcases, each and every one of your suitcases is already at the hotel inside your rooms. Oh, and I also have a list here of the people who's going to be in the rooms. So, yeah, anyway, let me just open up the portal here. Yes, and just to let you know, flamethrowers, this is actually my arm. This is actually my arm. See? It's basically, its concept was actually inspired by the uh, portal gun from the game, otherwise, otherwise known as Portal. <laughs> it's actually really cool. But anyway, yeah, this is actually my arm. Thank you, Eggman and Tails, for making it. By the way, you guys really do need to stop playing Portal. It's something. But anyway, I just gotta spawn a portal hole right here hopefully i can get this straight um and portal there we go i got it <laughs> okay Whew. there back in disguise mode all right anyway ladies one at a time we step through the portal we step through the portal <sighs> and as soon as we get there, our suitcases should actually be there, all right? <sighs> well, and I do have to say one thing, guys. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy yourselves over at that hotel. And um, one other thing, if you guys ever need anything, feel free to, you know, knock on my door. If you ever want to spend time with me, just knock on the door. If you want to go out to dinner, just knock on the door. Or, if you guys just want to come in for a cuddle, you can just knock on the door, okay? But remember, remember the rules, guys. Remember the rules for this harem marriage. For it, for it to work, we, we all have to follow the four main rules. Remember, one, no touching, which means I won't be touching. Remember, that we all of us will not be touching each other in a very, very inappropriate places. Like me, I can't touch you, like, your situations on the top and your situation down on the bottom, and I can't touch you in between. <laughs> but I can touch you if, like, I'm carrying you or something like that. Nothing inappropriate, okay? Nothing sexual. And for me, you guys can't touch me down in the, uh, <clears throat> my own area, okay? So you can't touch me there. Number two, you cannot... We cannot do any, like, tongue kissing or anything, okay? It can be lip-smacking kisses, but no tongue kissing, all right? The only person that's going to get tongue kissed is Sarah. Oh, and same thing with the inappropriate touching, it's Sarah. Anyway, behind, but, but okay, okay, uh, you know what, TMI, TMI, TMI. You know what, TMI, it's just insane. But anyway, four, anyway, third rule is, most importantly... Respect Sarah, okay? Remember, she is the main woman for me, okay? She's the main woman. She was nice enough to let me have this harem, but she is a little bit skeptical and doubtful to thinking that I would cheat on her with one of you guys. You know, have kids with you or sleep with you or anything. So, I promised her I am not going to do that. And she trusts me 100%-ish. She still has a little bit of doubts, but I need to convince her that I'm not going to be doing that. I'm pretty sure she knows that I'm not going to do that, but anyway, and last but not least, last but not least, guys, keep an eye on Rouge over here. Oh, come on. Rouge, I mean it. You're the most seductive out of all of us. So, Rouge, please, 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 please control yourself. Now... Here's what, now here's how you can control yourself. When you're thinking about sneaking into my room and trying to, you know, don't do that. Don't do that. And also, one other thing, 
If you're thinking about flirting with me, you can, but keep the flirting to a minimum. Don't make the flirting too inappropriate, okay? All right, Rouge? All right, I understand. All right, now every now all the ladies in the harem, go have a good time in there, and I will be there momentarily. <sighs> because right now, I have to talk to my brother, Sonic. Well, bro, you did it. Yeah, I know. It's a shame that it's a shame that you and Amy can't come with us. Yeah, we have to stay here and keep an eye on things here in the uh, we have to keep an eye on things here in Mobius just in case if Silver Mimic or Scourge tries anything. Yeah. You know, for some reason Silver he has gone quiet. Same thing with Mimic and Scourge. Yeah, we haven't heard from them in a long while. Yeah, but that's a but like all bad guys, when we don't hear from them from a, for a long while, that's normally a bad thing. Yeah, because they might be planning something. Hmm. You know, crazy enough, they might they might have teamed up. Oh man, don't make that a nightmare. Yeah. Oh, by the way, where's by the way where's Knuckles? He told me he was going to be here. Oh, uh, he actually gave me this little message for you. Uh, let's see. Dear Flame, congratulations on your huge wedding day. L listen, me and Julie Sue, we decided to stay another week, to stay another week at Seaside Hill Resort. Ha ha, wish you, wish I, wish I was there for my, for my sparring buddy, but you know how much of a freak Julie Sue is. Ha ha. Anyway, see you when you get back. Love, Knuckles. P.S. P.S. If me and Julie Sue we have a kid, we want you to be the godfather. Whoa, he wants me to be the godfather of his kid? Wow. Yep, looks like it. Well, anyway, bro, I guess this is goodbye for a little while. Yeah. Oh, and also, if Amy just so happens to go into labor while we're on vacation, you know what to do. Give me a call. I'm just, K I'm just you know... A chaos control away. Yeah. Or we can just come to you. I guess. Well, bro, I guess this is it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> can you believe it? I'm a husband of a whole mess of girls. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky bastard. Hey, bro. Hey, maybe one of these days Amy might let you have a harem. Yeah, no. <laughs> Besides... I'm, besides, I'm happy with the one woman that I have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, see you when we get back, bro. Right. See you later, bro. Yep. Going through the portal hole. <sighs> Whew. All right. Oh, man. The only suitcases is left is mine and Sarah's. Speaking of which, where is Sarah anyway? I'm right over here. Oh. Hey, baby bunny. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. The baby actually made it through the portal hole. <laughs> By the way, um, are you okay about this? Yes, I'm absolutely fine about this. But remember, I got my eye on you, making sure that you're not doing anything to those girls. Trust me, I'm not going to be doing anything with them. You're the only woman that I, that, that I love. Well, I do love all the others, but you're the main one, okay? Okay, I understand. Oh, and the baby's kicking. By the way, do we ever find out if we're having a boy or a girl? No, not yet. But with Tsunade part of the harem, she can definitely tell me if, she, if we are having a boy or a girl. Well, that's good to know. But the last time I saw Tsunade, she was heading over to the sake over at the, at the buffet table. Oh no. Do you think that she's drunk? If she is, the Shinobi sisters will take care of her. If she is, then, you know, she'll take really she'll be really good taken care of. <sighs> but anyway, but anyway, flamethrowers, there's also one other thing that I have to say. Remember those voices that was in my head by those ancestors? Guess what? They're gone! Finally, they are gone! They're satisfied with my harem marriage. They're satisfied. So now, those crazy voices in my head, they're gone. Finally, they are gone. And also, one other thing. 
It's finally the end of the flame effect. Once and for all, the flame effect is done. And because, get this, I actually saw it leave. Because you see, a great big pink cloud arose off of me. And that was the flame effect. It's gone, finally. It's gone. So yeah, so yeah, eat that dad. <laughs> you can rot in hell for all I care. Because get this, the flame effect is finally gone. But there's still one more person out there who I really do need to destroy. And that would be Player Sonic. Are you sure you'll be able to defeat him? I mean, if he is just like normal Sonic, then do you think you can beat him? Of course I can beat him. Of course I can beat Player Sonic. But anyway, guys, I will be sending... Guys, I'll still be making videos during my honeymoon, so... Yeah, be prepared to see some of those videos, and I'll see I'll see you guys next Friday. And I'll see you guys on and guys I will be coming home on Friday next Friday. So yeah. Anyway, guys, this is Flame the Dragon Hog getting ready to get started on his honeymoon in this hotel. And guys, I might bring on Chris Thorndike if he is here. I don't know if he is here or not, but. I'll bring him in if he is here. I really hope he's not, because honestly, I really don't want to see Chris. And I'm pretty sure lots of everybody else out here in this harem don't want to see him. <sighs> but anyway, that's all, folks. This is Flame the Dragon Hog signing out for now. And I will see you guys back on Mobius next Friday. And guys, also tomorrow, I will be doing a video showing you guys some pictures of our honeymoon. I'll show you guys some pictures. Anyway, this is Flame the Dragon Hog signing out for now. And be sure to congratulate me in the comments down below. Later, flamethrowers!